Hey guys, I'm gonna tell you about soft 404 errors and how you could fix them if you find them on your website. I'm Sean Henry from Pepperland Marketing and today we're talking about soft 404 errors. Now, if you're wondering what a soft 404 error is, you've probably gotten a notification from Google Search Console that Google has found them on your website while it was crawling your content. Um, now, before I go through what a soft 404 error actually is, let's talk about what a 404 error is. A 404 response code is triggered whenever somebody tries to load a page on your website that no longer exists or potentially never existed in the first, first place. It's basically a signal to the browser that this page does not exist and was not found. Um, usually the user sees a little message on the page that says, sorry, what you were looking for can't be found, or uh-oh, there was some problem here. Or um, sometimes you might just see a blank page that says 404 error. Um, that's typical, that's a normal part of the web. Um, it's it's a, totally fine if your website does return 404 errors, but sometimes a page will say not found, but then it's also telling the browser um, everything's okay. It's returning a, a 200 response, and that's what triggers a soft 404. It's something that looks like it should be returning a 404 response, uh, but it's not. It's returning a 200 instead. And that sends a mixed signal to, um, to search engines, and that's obviously not a good thing. Now, Google actually defines a soft 404 um, as a URL on your site that returns a page telling the user that the page does not exist and also a 200 level success, success code to the browser. And that's a pretty good definition, but sometimes Google will also claim something as a soft 404 if the, the, page, if the, the content on the page is kind of light um, or it just looks like the shell of a page that is gonna be created eventually but doesn't exist yet. Um, so sometimes Google may call it a soft 404 when you're looking at it and saying, hey, everything's fine here. So you get the notification in Google Search Console and now you've got to do something about it, but it's not always clear what that next step should be. Now, Google typically recommends that if you get a notification about a soft 404, that you either have that page return a normal 404 response code, or you redirect that page to a new location if you've just updated the location of the page, maybe you change the URL. Um, let's say a, a product used to have one name and it's now has a new name so the URL changes as a result, in which case you should redirect that old page to new page. But let's say you have the product and you're just no longer selling it, it no longer exists on your website, then Google wants you to actually return a 404 not found um, response and tell the user this page no longer exists. So how do you do that? Uh, you usually have to go back to your developer and say, hey, we need to create a custom 404 page and that should be a pretty easy thing for them to do. If you do a quick Google search, you'll find plenty of instructions on how to set up a custom 404 page for your website. Uh, I'm gonna offer you one additional tip. Um, you wanna go a step farther than just creating a custom 404 response page. You should also think about what that user would wanna do next if they were to come across a broken link or type in a URL that no longer exists. Usually that's a frustrating experience, so you just don't wanna hang them out to dry. You wanna guide them um, down a path where they could find a good replacement or maybe um, look in a different way so they could find the thing that they were actually looking for. Usually you could do a little bit of coding to um, look at how the person stumbled across the page or you know, see if there are any keywords in the URL to try to dynamically serve up some content that might be useful to them. But if you can't do that or if you're not that sophisticated, consider putting in a little search bar on the 404 page or um, a form where people could reach out to you to, to ask for guidance. And another cool thing is to, to actually invite people to inform you about the broken link that they just found. Um, you'll find that your users, your customers, the people browsing your website are very willing to um, provide you feedback when something goes wrong and that could save you a lot of frustration. You could identify problems a lot earlier than if you weren't inviting that type of feedback. So just to recap, if Google's telling you that you have soft 404s on your website, you usually want to do one of two things. You want to either make sure that that page is actually returning a true 404 response code. If you're not sure how to do that, talk to somebody um, on your IT team or talk to your developer or reach out for professional help. But um, make sure that that page is returning a 404 response. Um, or if the page is just simply changed locations, make sure that that page redirects in the new location so people aren't coming across this broken link. We hope you find that helpful. Uh, if it is, let us know in the comments and we hope to see you soon.